Hi everyone, uh, good morning. So in this video, I'm going to give you an introduction about what is Greenfield, Brownfield and Bluefield. So there are nice articles uh, in SAP websites and even there are a few bloggers also have given good comparison and all. So you can go through for learning about all the fields and all. So what are the different, different things, but at high level to talk in interview or to at least to understand what these people are talking about, Greenfield, Brownfield, Bluefield, all these things. So let's talk like a kind of a podcast. I don't want to keep it a uh, presentation and keep it all the points and all, just like generic way, how we are going to discuss. So let's talk about um, what is Greenfield, Brownfield and Bluefield. So Greenfield is kind of a fresh implementation. This is applicable for all the clients who are coming to SAP for the first time. Currently, we are using Oracle or else uh, any barn or any other ERP system, or else we are not using any ERP and we want to implement uh, for the first time. Either it can be a public cloud or a private cloud or on-premise, any kind of a thing. They are going to start from scratch, understanding the business and uh, transforming the entire uh, current system to their uh, new system, which is SAP. Okay. And also for the fresh customers and second ECC customers, currently they are using ECC 6 or ECC uh, 4.7 or ECC 6 EHP 7 or EHP 4, whatever version they are, but they decided to go for S4 HANA implementation in Greenfield approach. So what is this Greenfield approach will do in, in Greenfield approach, uh, they are going to make it uh, a direct implementation. Okay. So indirect implementation, what is going to happen? So directly they're going to implement in S4 HANA. Uh, it can be a public cloud or private cloud or on-premise, whatever they decided. So they're not going to uh, consider any of the customized solutions available in current ECC system. And they will understand the new business requirements and the gaps which they found during the ECC and what are the concerns from all the countries and all then they will go for an implementation. So that is the Greenfield implementation. Either you are on ECC or you are not in anything SAP, then you are implementing S4 HANA, a public cloud or private cloud round premise directly as a scratch. From scratch, you are going to start it. Then it will be called as Greenfield. What is Brownfield? Brownfield is kind of, uh, this is applicable for the clients who are currently using ECC. They are using ECC 6, any version, ESP 4, ESP 8, and all. There may be the compatibility wise. I said, I read a few articles that if you are on ECC 4.7, you have to go to ECC 6 uh, first migrate, then from there you can go for uh, S4 HANA implementation. So these kind of a certain checks will be there. But at high level, what you are going to understand, what is brownfield? The brownfield is something like um, you are going, you are having your ECC. And you are going to implement S4 HANA, but you want to adopt certain solutions which are pretty good in ECC and the business are uh, uh, getting a lot of benefit with those programs and you don't want to just dilute it. For example, if you go for a greenfield, whatever is available in ECC, it's completely scrap kind of thing, right? Because you're not going to do it. If you go for a brownfield, in Brownfield, whatever customization program, for example, you have 100 programs are available. In that 100 programs, S4 HANA functionalities, query apps, all those things, 45 programs or 40 programs can be directly available in S4 HANA. Okay, the remaining 60 programs you are going to copy. Remaining 60 programs you are going to copy for the Brownfield implementation. Okay, this is what I'm uh, in Brownfield. So in Brownfield, you are going to use your ECC programs. You copy to S4 HANA and uh, you have to migrate certain data and certain uh, many programs what you are going to decide. So ECC transactions will be available in S4 HANA also. The C with similar name also you can utilize it because the users are familiar and uh, users also, they don't have to get a kind of a new a T code, some confusion and all. So in Brownfield, UCC programs will be copied to S4 HANA. 
and also uh, s4 hana functionalities and fury apps everything will be used as usual but uh, you are going to copy ecc programs which programs need to copy out of 100 only 60 so that based on the uh, requirements certain programs were created during implementation time or uh, first one year or two years of time but later no one is using those programs so during those cases also business can uh, uh, decide and the it team can decide that one what are the programs are not even used in last few years so let's scrap it and we don't have to take those programs to s4 hana and second category in s4 hana uh, new fury apps are coming and the flexible workflow is coming so the existing customized workflow cannot be and we don't have to copy and let's use the sap standard uh, flexible workflow these kind of decisions may reduce these 40 programs that is brownfield so it's pretty clear i think um, Whoever I discussed and uh, whatever I see and even I'm involving currently as in Brownfield and uh, the new will be Greenfield in our area, in our uh, projects. I spoke to my few of my old students and a few of the colleagues and all. I always hear either Greenfield or Brownfield. The next one is Bluefield. The theoretically, uh, it's kind of a little complex to understand, but at high level, let's uh, at high level to understand not to discuss too much about Bluefield. What I understand is blue field is combination of green plus brown. So they are going to use certain uh, things like uh, they were they are going to implement as a green field, and certain programs and all they copy from SAP ECC to S4 HANA. But here there is a kind of a transition. So first the green field things are happening and implemented. It may when go live or else technical go live happens. Still, few programs are tested and new programs are being happening. And then the customized programs of ECC will be copied. But they, there will be a lot of sensitivity that um, the existing greenfield things should not be affected because of the brownfield things. And in brownfield, few programs, everything, the material master characters or any so uh, logics which are given with old tables, the performances, everything you need to consider. At a high level, I see that blue field is kind of a brown field with a little more uh, complexity or more functionalities of green field. So at high level, green field plus brown field will be the blue field. Even if you see any article also, you can try to understand. But my suggestion, focus on green field and brown field. What are the activities and what we are going to do? and the data migration things, what are migration cockpits are being used during brownfield. It's a greenfield, which is a, like how we do in ECC, new fresh implementation like that you can do in S4 HANA. This is about the three words. I hope I gave you at a high level idea to talk, to understand, and to explain to your client or to explain in your interview or anywhere you can utilize that one. If you want to know more details, please go to SAP official websites and uh, go through about the articles. So because these are all not something configure and this is the result, how you can configure and all. These keep uh, adding certain things in Brownfield. You can use this tool for uh, migrating data. SAP is providing certain new things in new versions. And if you're using Greenfield, you can use these techniques for uh, migration things, or you can use these techniques for your uh, configuration, model company codes are being given. So these all keep adding and keep exploring. It's a big topic. You can do your self-learning. Okay. So I hope you got certain idea and clarity about what these three terms we are uh, seeing in multiple articles or in LinkedIn posts and all. If you feel the video is good, you can share with your friends and uh, connections. I hope uh, they will be benefited. Thanks for your time. Keep watching and keep sharing our videos.